Welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this beautiful Thursday morning, for me anyway. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello, Panda. Hello, Bat Lion. Early stream, yes. I'm actually here, not just on time, but, uh, you know, about 15 minutes early, something like that. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for jumping in. Little bit of... Lego Batman 100% today, a little bit of Lego Bruce Man, uh, continuing the journey of course, uh, and that's about it, that's that's kind of the plan for today. I was tempted to do a, a double stream today where we fit in a little bit of Dark Souls as well because I, I have withdrawals whenever I'm not playing Dark Souls 1 now, but uh, no, we'll keep it short, I gotta record some other stuff today, so we'll be responsible I guess. Um, and yeah, I mean, what else can I really say except thanks for jumping in? And, uh, that's about it. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's collect some mini kits. Let's, let's do what we set out to do. Good to see you, Clever. Thanks for jumping in. I speed ran the 100% getting broken up with run last week. I did not think that message was taking that turn. I'm sorry to hear that, Wings Up. I'm sorry to hear that, my brother. That is not the speed run you want to be engaging in, but sometimes it happens. Wishing you the best, fella. Um, Alright, what do we got here? Alright, how many hours do I have in LEGO Batman? It's a lot. It's a lot for somebody who hasn't 100% of the game, but a lot of it is AFK time. A lot of it. Um, because there's no way I've played this game for 175 hours. I've probably played the game for like 50 maybe burner thanks so much dude thank you for the four months oh tier three as well jesus christ burner you're nothing if not dedicated thank you very much dude that's super generous of you how am i doing today i'm doing good i'm doing good just uh gonna set this game up real quick um there we go there we go 50 is still a lot for a game that can be beaten in two weeks yeah i'm thinking it's probably less than that to be honest with you a lot of that is AFK, like leaving the game open while I'm just working on something. We're starting early, that's right, Rogan. We're here, we're gaming. Gonna send you into the void while I set this game up. Don't panic, you'll be fine. Um, man, I'm gonna mention this at the start of every stream. Balatro, Balatro, whatever the fuck it's called. Play it, it's big. It's absolutely large, you would not believe it. It is huge. Great game. Give it a go. If you like cards and uh, the Joker. Do it. There you I need to watch this Fallout show. I really, I really want to um, give it a go. I'm hearing good things. I'm hearing good things. I just, I really hated the way that it looked like it was shot when they released that first trailer. And, um... And also, like, the special effects kind of put me off when I watched the trailer, but I'm hearing good things. So, I mean, I gotta give it a go. Um, see you later, Mr. Super Pizza. Have a good one, dude. I thought it looked mid in the trailers too, but we'll probably end up watching it. Yeah, I thought the trailer didn't look all that promising. And, uh, but, you know, as I said, hearing good stuff, hearing good stuff. 74.7% never been this far into a lego game before wait okay has autosave not been doing that since we started this strange i watched the show and really enjoyed it but i was already a fallout fan i'm a pretty big fallout fan as well so not the biggest of all time but big so i, I would say i'd probably enjoy it um you know like uh what was the first fallout game i played Technically, the first Fallout game I had a go of was Fallout 3, but I didn't really get it. It's one of those games, like, a friend showed me at his house, and I thought it looked cool, but I couldn't get into it, because you have to, like, sit down and play a Fallout game, right? So I was like, yeah, that looks kind of cool, and then I just kind of forgot about it for a while. I think the first one I played played was, um, Fallout New Vegas, but I played it on the PS3, which I have since learned is, like, the worst way to experience that game. But I loved it, nonetheless. I, I, apparently, I don't even remember playing the game at 15 FPS, but, you know, that's just kind of how it is. 
Wait, where am I going? We don't have to do villain shit right now. We're just playing chronologically. Oh yeah, we finished... Uh, oh, that was epic. Uh, we finished the first chapter of the hero story last time we did this, which is good. So that's all 100%ed. Um, oh, extras aren't on? Jesus. What sort of a... What, what? This guy calls him the Lego Gamer. The Lego Gamer. He's a fraud. He's a fake and a fraud. And I won't have it on the stream. Banned. Look at that 3,840 multiplier. Could you, could you get any larger? I'm not recording either. Thank God somebody's looking out for me. I'd be in trouble. I'd be in large trouble. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> Small Ribena meal. Not good. I don't know why I keep going into the options menu. The extras feel like options, you know? Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I first played Fallout New Vegas on the PS3. And loved that. Really became a fan of Fallout from there. Um, then, when I first got the PS4, I got Fallout 4 with the PS4. And I will never... One of my favorite... I don't even really like Fallout 4 all that much since I've gone back to it. There's things I do like about it, but... Man, I will never forget. I was on school holidays, and it was the... It was the first time I'd gotten, like, a modern console at the... Around the time of release. Like, I think it was only about a... Nine months to twelve months after it had released or something like that. Maybe, maybe I got the timeline wrong, but I got the, I got the PS4, what I'm trying to say is relatively close to when it released, and I'll never forget that, that day after I got it, and I had installed everything, and it was the school holidays, and I don't think I moved out of my chair for, oh god, I want to say like 15 hours maybe, I think I seriously sat there and played Fallout 4 for fucking 15 hours, <laughs> like I, I don't think I moved, man. <laughs> I don't think I moved. I think I was still. I think I was frozen. Yeah, good times. You can't do that when you get older. Hey, like, it just doesn't happen anymore like that. Even if I had a full 24 hours with n and nothing to do the next day, I just don't think I could do it. There was just something. There's, there's an, an essence that leaves you. I don't have that essence anymore. But I tell you what, it was fucking good. Early Zaya? It's a, it's a rare one, dude. It's a rare one. And, I, like, again, Fallout 4, it's not as good as I remember, in, like, how much I enjoyed it back then. Um, but at that moment, I was so mind-blown by everything. I was just so easily impressed, I think. But also, just everything hit for me. I just... I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. It was so good. Um, hey, has be warned for Hero 2-5? It's one of the hardest levels. Oh, are we talking Arctic World? Or Pe Penguin's Lair? Yeah, I I've heard. Uh, that's the slide. The slide. Whack. Um, have you ever had that thing where your friend tries to show you something and you hate it, but then you rediscover it on your own? I think that's... Yeah, that's like a universal law. Because this is very stupid, and feel free to burn me alive for this, but when... When... My mate showed me, um, Fallout 3 on his Xbox 360, I think it was. I remember he was showing me, and I liked the aesthetic and everything, but I thought it looked like the most boring game I had ever seen in my life. Because I hadn't really played, like, an RPG before. I know that 3 isn't, like, the, uh, the, the deepest RPG of all time, but it just wasn't the type of game that I had been mega exposed to. And so while he was showing me, he was just kind of walking at the speed of, like, a stick of butter just fucking across this relatively empty wasteland. And I thought it looked cool, but there just wasn't that much going on for a long time. I still haven't played Fallout 3, but um, anyway. And I was like, yeah, it looks all right. But he was explaining some of the lore to me, and I was like, that, that actually does sound pretty awesome. But, you know, and I just, I didn't hate it. But I didn't, I wasn't super interested. And, uh, but it did expose me to the general idea of Fallout, which is why I eventually got New Vegas. If I, if he hadn't have shown me, I probably never would have played it. Um, and it's hard to get me into, uh, we've spoken about this before, hard to get me into TV shows, hard to get me in the door. But once you've got me, and it's good, 
I'm there forever, basically. Because uh, I've since gone back and played New Vegas a handful of times, and it's fucking awesome. It's a great game. Uh, that's kind of me. I really like the Fallout aesthetic, but it doesn't seem super fun based on the couple of hours of Fallout 4 I played. I tried New Vegas, but probably wasn't in the right mindset to start a whole new game, so I might come back to that eventually. I can definitely see that with New Vegas. You get New Vegas, try and build a character, and try and just give your character like a few traits. They're, they're not even like intrinsic to the game, but try and give your character a few traits. Try and make your character like a guy who, like, uh, he fucking hates ghouls because uh, his family was ripped apart by them. By making your character just hate, like, have a reason to hate ghouls, it will sway your role-playing a little bit. If you role-play that game a little bit, just a little bit, you don't have to go super deep, but give your character, maybe he's an alcoholic, something like that. It'll, it'll make the game more enjoyable, I think, at least for me. Just, just two or three traits. He hates ghouls because his family was torn apart by them. He's a raging alcoholic because the memory of the event uh, haunts him to this very day. And, I don't know, fucking something. Something, something, maybe, I don't know, something like that. You, you play the game like that, mate, I tell you what, the possibilities just open up in front of you. All worlds of possibility. Uh, Bruce Mann or Brian Murphy, let's not talk, that, that would be a clash of the titans, I'll tell you that. Shout out, Crash Bandicoot. Um, is that what that game was called? Crash of... Oh, it was Crash of the Titans. Well, whatever. All right, moving on. There she goes again. Of course, we're getting Basil on the case. That's just what has to happen. All right. Hello, Lone Wind the Wolf and Kingston999. Welcome, welcome. All right. So, moving on here. Man, it's like... All of the set dressing that I've seen numerous times for this game actually being accessible areas is tripping me out a little bit. Despite what you may think, Crash Bandicoot was not in any of the Clash of the Titans films. That's so sag. That's so sag. Hey, thanks a lot, Kingston. Thanks for jumping in, dude. Can we just have Batman and Clayface forever? Do we- did we get a Bruce? Now nah, we got a Batgirl, that's alright. Batgirl and Clayface duo? That's actually that actually goes kinda hard, I'm not gonna lie to you. Goes kinda crazy. Alright. Levels that start with open areas of Bat Chad. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Man, I have an idea for like my ideal Lego Batman game if they ever were to do a four. And I want to make a video out of it. I, I want to make something out of it, but I feel so... I, co I constantly go through these, like, uh, different mindsets of, like, part of me just wants to drop absolutely everything else and finish TGB so that I can finish TGB. And then I, I understand how bad that would probably be for the channel if I was just to dedicate a couple of months to finishing that. And so I bounce back in between, and then I go, should I save these different kind of ideas for when I'm totally free? Or should I, you know, I, I constantly am, like, weighing up what to do there. <clears throat> ah, my life is so hard, man. Wow. Wow. So difficult. Shut up and play the game, bozo, before I break your head in half. Don't put pressure on yourself, just do TGB. Part of me just, man, I just want to, like, be in my goblin cave, write the fucking scripts, edit the videos, as far, like, not, not, you know, sacrificing how long they need to take, but just, you know, hammering it out. That's kind of like what, that's the mode I'm in right now. Um, it's stressing me out. Shut up. Who cares stressing you out? You idiot. Anyway. <laughs> that's my, uh, that's my internal dialogue. Sometimes you gotta let it out, alright? Shut up. Let's be quiet for a minute. Bool. Wild title today. 
Feeling a little wild. Feeling a little wild. Gotta get out there. So far, are you enjoying the new uh, the process for the new TGB episode? Uh, yeah, no, a lot. There's so there's so much cool shit. That's that's what like that's another thing. I'm so excited about that series. Like that's so much of my uh, excitement is towards that right now. It's hard to do other stuff, but I want to do other stuff as well because it's kind of a grass is greener situation, right? It's like when I'm not working on TGB, I'm like, wow, this is so much easier as well. Like this is this is nice. I can get used to this. But at the same time, so much of my excitement is for that that series. And I'm just like, oh man. Just get it done, dude. It's, part of me is a little embarrassed too that it's taken so long. Uh, I don't know. I have a lot of mixed feelings about it. Do you find it feasible to actually complete TGB within the parameters of the challenge? With some slip-ups, yeah. But ever since we got that first kill, this it's become a lot more of like, okay, so this is, uh, to my knowledge, this isn't totally doable with zero kills, but it's still, I'm impressed how far you can get with enough, you know, with enough willpower, how far we've been able to get with minimal kills. You know what I mean? Um, it's still exciting to me because it's like, okay, we're not killing somebody every mission, which is, which is pretty huge. Um, but yeah, I've been enjoying the process of this episode particularly because there's just some wild stuff, like some actually interesting stuff that's still very frustrating and kind of hard to explain, but just some really, uh, fun strategies and weird situations that we find ourselves in, you know? Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've already said what missions are in it, Rogan. Um, it'll be, at least, I, unless I decide to cut something, I'm sure I won't though, because I, I kind of want chapter three done by the end of this episode, so it'll be, uh, what's left? Uh, oh, what is it? The one, what is it called again? Oh, why is my audio not working? God. Uh, yeah, it'll be the rest of Chapter 3. I'm not sure what the mission's called. The, uh... The one where Arthur gets captured. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me. Uh, it'll be that one. It'll be Blood Feuds. R.I.P. Blood Feuds is just wild. Um... Yeah, that one, Blood Feuds. The fucking... Oh, God, I can't remember the names of them. Something like that. The rest of, rep, rest of chapter three is the best way to put it. Wait, can we not? Okay. Can I double jump it? Yeah, I can. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Conf conflicted moment, you know? I just feel like a lot of these side projects, like the stink tier list and stuff, I feel like it would just make sense to do all this stuff once this main behemoth that I've been working on for so long is is done like I, I kind of want that feeling of finality with it where it's it's just it's just finished you know I just want like and it's hard because whenever I finish working on a on an episode I'm still in that like mode of working on it so then to go and switch to something else kind of feels strange you know what I mean I've written a little bit of the Soda Cola video, yeah. Again, it's just stuff that I'm... I, I, I'm so TGB-brained. You know? Hard to Bruce. finish something else, you know? Thanks a lot, Iz. Thanks for the three months, dude. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the three months. Holy hell. Thanks, man. What do I think the next TT game will be? I don't... I don't... In terms of Lego, I've got no idea. So is TGB going to be next? It's not the plan. I don't know. I'm so far behind on so many things because I've been so indecisive. You know? <clears throat> Hell yeah, it is. Thanks very much, dude. Hopefully many months to come. Thank you for the 100 bits, dude. And thank you for the resub. Appreciate it, man. 
Lego Infinity Saga? Maybe so. Yeah, they could do something crazy like that. I don't know. Will you even exist when TGB ends? Who could really say? Um, I need to... The, the main thing is, though, regardless of what I choose to do, the... I need to stop being so indecisive because I'm falling behind in, in everything right now. I'm so far behind because I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I, don't know, I don't know what to do, but I'll figure it out. We'll be right. The channel's kind of in the toilet right now, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll, 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 we'll do it. We'll do it. We got it. We got it. Playing too much Dark Souls? Nah, you know what? My, my, I'm proud of my stream consumption of games. It's been good. Where am I going? Hang on, I need to think for a second. I'm, I'm playing like I just have no idea where I am at this point. Um, the way your vocabulary sounds in all of your streams, I would think you're always Bruce and Robert brained. Bruce and Robert's a, a good opportunity for me to just do off the cuff stuff, so... It's probably very similar to the episode since Bruce and Robert is just off the cuff recording me playing the game, you know? Did the cardboard trophy video not boost your analytics? No, the cardboard, <laughs> the cardboard, like, I don't, you know what? Really cool that 20k people watched that. I never expected the cardboard trophy video to be a, you know, to bang analytically, but, um, no, it did very badly <laughs> in, in terms of raw numbers. Not good. Not good, mate. I'll tell you that. That's all right. That's okay. You know, I just like making stuff, and sometimes I get the... I get the urge to make something completely different, and I'm glad that I did. I, um... There, there was a little part of me that thought the cardboard trophy presentation might attract some people who are interested in the platinum trophy stuff and maybe it would but i just don't think the video was served to many people so you can never really be sure i guess the thumbnail isn't great but um i'm i i don't regret making it i uh i like making different stuff like that i like doing different ideas i want to get uh complacent you know Um, but yeah, and uh, there's just, look, this is not a, this is not me complaining. This is just kind of what's going on at Isaiah Incorporated. I feel like I made a mistake running multiple series at once, but then also didn't because the stuff that I'm trying to do, like, on my own just kind of isn't the way that I probably should do YouTube, if that makes sense. Like, I'm trying to... I don't know, like, running a bunch of stuff at once means that they both come out slow. And I, part of me just wants to go, alright, TGB's getting done, then I can focus on Bruce and Robert. But then at the same time, you know, uh, certain parts of the audience are only there for a particular thing, so then that might be kind of annoying, I don't know. Maybe I should stop trying to please everybody and just do what I want to do. This is a therapy session now, please help me. Can you please prescribe me some no thinking pills please plead oh jesus oh my controller's fallen out because somebody somebody dropped the controller with the charging cord in it and now it's bent so and no that somebody was not me might have been me would have been there's a distinct possibility all right, there's another mini kit. That's all. That's all we're looking for. That's all we need. Um. Okay. Wow, we're getting these done slow, right? The the hundred percent grind has become just excuse for me to ramble. Not good. Not good. As an animator, I really get the whole content taking a long time thing, especially jug juggling many projects. Just do whatever you actually want. I thought what I wanted this year and it still kind of is but i thought the pure thing that i wanted was to upload more here's the thing technically i already have because last year was a very slow year um but i, I thought it was purely just to just to be he around more upload more um and i do still want to do that but there's another part of me that just wants tgb completed 
I almost just want to dedicate, like, however long it takes and scratch it off the list. Because, uh, it's just been going so long. And I, I, I almost just want to see the back of that project, you know? Um... And not because I don't enjoy making it, but just because I feel like after four years, it's getting kind of embarrassing. You know what I mean? Part of me is a little embarrassed. You realize daily streaming is being around more? Yeah, I think I'm balancing things pretty well, and I'm surprised I did get quite a few, um, you know, fortnightly uploads out there. I'm proud of that, but it's slowing down because I'm now indecisive about whether or not it's actually what I want to do, you know? get over yourself yeah that's another thing just just fucking get over yourself and just do whatever who cares don't worry you don't have to tell me twice i know that but yeah i don't know i uh i probably i probably should just keep doing what i'm doing and not burn the whole thing down to compensate you know for something else <clears throat> I don't think, I think, yeah, I'm still missing stuff down here. I'm, I'm just going to build this real quick. Just going to build this ladder, you know, get a heart out of it. Why don't your CIA mates assi assist with TGB? Because, um, it's a top secret project not even the CIA knows about. They can't have ac access to the TGB spreadsheet. They can't. Um... Now that I think about it, how did you manage weekly uploads even for a short amount of time? Well, to be fair, during that very, very brief weekly upload period, two of them were like nothing burgers. Like, not nothing burgers, but they weren't... They would like update videos, right? Why do I not stream TGB anymore? Because uh, Red Dead and my computer end streaming at the same time. 20 FPS, crash, nightmare. Hmm. <clears throat> Real talk, you are your wor own worst enemy. Oh god, he's such a painful antagonist too, I hate him. Nah, he's alright, he goes okay. He's alright. Um, I and the rest of the chat are gonna meat ride whatever you post. <laughs> Jesus, that's wild. Um, nah, well thanks man, I appreciate that James. I just wanna, I'm, I, I'm conflicted, you know. What can I say? What can I say? So if I'm late for the next, you know, uh, in terms of uploads for the next however long, at least you know why, right? I, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's been going so long. Like, I'm, I'm so ready as well to just introduce a bunch of new stuff, but until... Like, I want to do stuff like the stink tier list and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. That's great. But I almost feel like it's not the right time to introduce a bunch of new stuff. I, um... Yeah, I don't know. All right, hang on. Let, let's let's try and... Let's try and figure this out. What am I doing here? Is, am I missing something? Clearly, I'm missing something. Aren't you, like, not even halfway through TGB? I think I'm about halfway through, to be honest. Like... Yeah, yeah, it, I, I wrote up a little plan which could be slightly inaccurate, but I basically went through all of the missions and I tried to do up a sort of list of which ones were going to be problematic, which ones are just filler missions where nothing really happens. And with that loose sheet, I was able to sort of figure out how many episodes will be left in the series. And... It's a pretty wide margin, but the series could be, like, anywhere between 20 to 30 episodes long. Um, somewhere around there. That's kind of what it's looking like. Um, 20 to 30 is probably right. It could be more, it could be less. It depends how some of it's presented and how some of it pans out. Anyway, gonna focus on this now. I've been talking too much about this. We haven't gotten anything done. Does somebody want to give me a hint? Because I am just... I am clueless here. What are, what are we doing? How do I open this fucking gate? Do you have diaries of your TGB strategies like a psychopath? Alright, this is the last thing I'm gonna say. You must have missed it. There is a wall to my left. 
It's a sliding mirror, right, to my cupboard. It is covered in sticky notes for TGB. And it has been for a long time. <laughs> and it needs to go. So I have to finish this fucking project. Just be done. Just be done already. It's on my- it's on- it's right next to me. It's like a conspiracy board. It's got- it's color-coded. We got yellow sticky notes for primary characters. We've got blue sticky notes for world uh, rules and law. We've got green sticky notes for explanations, goals, and whys. And we've got pink sticky notes for characters, places, objects. Wait, characters, places, and objects of interest. And it is getting- it is getting too much. It's time- it's time to take down that wall of sticky notes. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> Let's play the game. How come you do physical noting? Uh, probably it's something to do with how my brain works. I'm- I have to have like a physical representation of something sometimes. So like having- I do have like spreadsheets for certain things, like text-based stuff of how many kills were here and whatever, but helps me to have like a a physical, tangible thing I can Green flashing arrow is what you need you know, to collect. move around and touch and see and you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Thanks for the hundred is. Green flashing arrow is what you need to collect. Yeah, but he's pointing at nothing. He's pointing at nothing. For Baden, I need not do a thing. Except what I desire. I'm telling you that right now, mate. Um, subscription ran out. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, I used to too, but electronic is so much more convenient. It is convenient. I also feel cooler having sticky notes on my wall, to be honest. It's like a cr criminal investigation. It's just sometimes you got to romanticize these things, right? Um, okay. This, uh, this is not a difficult video game. I don't know what he's doing up there. It just makes you seem old. That's alright, I don't mind. Oh, dr yeah, drive the car into the fucking thing. I forgot. Wait, where'd the car go? Um, what the Sigma? Oh, there it is. Alright. Where am I driving this thing again? Oh, is it in here? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is like a... An actual... This is like finding a clue in L.A. Noir. I love referential humor so much. So much. Spelled M-U-D-J-E. I love it. No, M-U-D-G-E. I love it so much. Alright, how are we... How are we getting this thing now? Um, yeah, Mudge, that's it. That's it, that's it. Not, not the J. Look, Bruce. tired. Um, hey, Artifier, thanks so much, man. How doth the vibes be today, Izzy, one love. Thanks for the Prime, dude. Alright, we got this thing as well. Does absolutely fucking nothing. Thanks very much, Artifier. Thanks for, uh, all the bits and subs, everybody. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's a metal grate down here, but it's, it's, it's closed. Gone. Doesn't work. Am I missing something simple? Do I just punch it off? It's, must be another something. I am well today. Thanks, Artifier. Hope you're doing good. Is it bugged? Don't tell me it's bugged. Don't do that. Ah, oh, it's bugged. So, okay, alright, look. There is some level of mental deficiency here, on my part, for sure. But the fact that it's bugged doesn't make it any better. Oh, God. Really? Destroy carrot? This carrot? Nah, no way. Alright, that's awesome. Um, oh yeah, we could just do the rest. You're right, you're right. As long as that's all there is in this area. We need a law reason how he breaks Batman games. I don't know. I don't know what- I don't know what's going on there. 
Um, do you mind, brother? Basil me up. Oh, he can't double jump off it. Oh, I, I, I tell you what. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit here. Because I just want to see if that's actually the reason. I'm just gonna go back in. I want it done now. Or it's gonna bother me. It's gonna bother me big time. Oh, God. Let's go. Arkham Knight feels so long away. Yeah, that was only a month ago, too. The, um... This month has gone really fast for me because I've just done significantly less. In a month where I'm actually on time with uploads, for some reason, the, the week is just... The weeks are so packed that the month starts going slower. But, um, since I've been fucking slow the week's actually gone for uh, the month's actually gone faster um all right so what we just needed that switch that's it so we'll get hopefully that's all it is hopefully it was actually bugged and i'm not just stupid we'll see oh my god it was just bugged okay that's crazy that's really epic. I don't know how I manage it, honestly. Do you think if you didn't stream daily, you'd be more on schedule with uploads? Honestly, it'd be easier, slightly, but it's it's not the reason. It's not the reason at all. I, uh... The thing that takes the longest, or the thing that makes things take longer, is when I'm um, indecisive. If I know what I'm doing, like I have a goal and I know what I want to do, I can get it done relatively quick. But when I'm, you know, I don't know what to do, oh, I've got no idea what to do, oh, then I'm, uh, things will take me forever. Oh, you, you're a piece of shit, mate. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Don't care. It's factual information. All right, whatever. I'll do what you want then. Do you procrastinate a lot? I procrastinate in the sense that, like, I'll have a bunch of different things I'm working on because I'm indecisive as to which one should be finished first. And so I sort of procrastinate by working on other things that I shouldn't be working on, if that makes sense. It's rare for me to do nothing. Good night, Alec. Thanks for jumping in. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that's true, Desi. Also, the amount of footage that I've gathered from streaming. There's going to be some cool stuff I make out of it eventually. I think if you really want to get stuff done, you have to watch the Fallout show first. Like, before starting any new project. I do want to watch it. I was speaking about that at the start of the stream. I think it looks... I, I've heard it's good. I actually think it doesn't look that great, but um, I've heard that it's good. Um... That's another thing, like, streaming all this stuff, there's, I've come up with some different styles of video that I really want to try out, but it just feels wrong, they're going to be pretty big projects, and it just feels wrong to start a new big thing when I've already got a massive thing on my plate, you know what I mean? Um, oh yeah, this is the way, okay, yeah, right. Like, I shouldn't go and start a whole other behemoth when I already have the ultimate behemoth in front of me, that's just silly. You know, Jesus, Ethan. Holy hell. Thank you very much, man. That's insanely generous of you. Congratulations, uh, gifties. Gifties. Thanks very much, dude. Bruce. You do not have to do that. I appreciate it, though. Thank you for the five gifted. Real Human B, Mr. Medium Rare, Fabo6, Daddy Tokyo, Mike J2001, Bruce. Wake Up From Your Cryo Sleep. You have been provided with a gift. It's sitting right in front of you. Thanks a lot, Ethan. Appreciate it, dude. You're a legend. Bruce. Is TGB is like your white whale? TGB is like a white tumor growing in my head that needs to be removed. Bruce. And the only way to remove it is to finish it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Modern day Moby Dick. Bruce. 
I've never even seen or read Moby Dick. So, I'm a fraud, I'm afraid. They did make a video- uh, uh, They did make a video out of that, right? They did make a movie out of that, correct? Moby Dick is wild? I need to give Moby Dick a watch. Maybe before the Fallout show. That reminds me of a lot of indie develop game developers. We think of other game ideas constantly, and it's the reason why a lot of games go unfinished. You have to sort of put your foot down to yourself and say, Oi! Get on with the current thing, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, I know. YouTube's a little different, though, because I think one benefit, one th thing that's sort of kept everything afloat for a while is that uh, I've been lucky enough to have a couple of different series that are wildly different that people seem to like. And there's always been that variety. I think that's always been a good thing. Um, but at the same time... Y yeah, like, I understand what you're saying. Al almost... Like, in terms of longevity, probably good that I've had a variety. In terms of, like, getting things done, it's been unbelievably detrimental. Like, from start to finish, for sure. But I understand what you're saying, for sure. I almost... Mm, I don't know. Do you ever fear the drop in viewers once a series potentially finishes? Not really, man. Hey, like, I... I... I just want thing. I want to make good things. I want to have people enjoy them. I think that I can do that. Um, but I get in my own way a lot of the time. I just, I just wish that I would get out of my own way more often. Because when I do, usually things go all right. Um, and I take, like, I take, I take things maybe too seriously. I'm, I'm aware of that. But also, making stuff and. Uh, you know, being able to basically live off doing, uh, making those things is like uh, a huge thing for me. Like that's pretty important to me, even in, even if it is silly stuff a lot of the time. That's pretty huge. Um, and I've never taken it for granted, and so I do take it pretty seriously. But at the same time, uh, I am also like the one who puts that most at risk because I, again, I'm I'm so indecisive and slow. You know. Wait, does that actually... Alright, that that was not the solution, but it, it almost looked like it was. How in God's name am I getting down there? Is there an actual... Oh, there's, there's a path right here, holy shit. Dude, that's some Dark Souls 1 interconnectedness right there. I respect that. That's massive. Absolutely huge. They were cooking with this game. Every step of the way. Besides the part where they made it so that Basil can't double jump after a certain amount of time. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Feel that, uh, feel that just being the king of indecision and self-sabotaging? Yeah. Well, is it self-sabotage if you want yourself to do well? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm no expert. But I will say this. I'm a fool. And, and don't... Try not to get in your way the, the way that I do. Right? Not good for you. Bad for you. Um, I think I, I think this is the one mini kit that I have gotten. Do you usually get a mini kit for saving that hostage? You probably do. <laughs> Jesus, Thalmor. You know what? I'm, I read a couple of words of that message. I'm I'm going to. I'm not even going to read the rest of it. I'm not mentally equipped. Something about getting in the shape of clay face and does that make you gay? Something. I'm. I'm. I'm not. Look, you gonna That's something you gotta figure out for yourself. Oh, there's a mini kit up there too. All right, hold on a second. Can we basil this one out? Feel like this is basilable, you know? Through some, some divine skill set that he has. Yeah, hang on a second. Oh, this is... I feel this one. I feel this one in my bones, really. It's got to happen. It's got to happen. If we could get on that little corner there, I don't think it can happen. But it... Oh, it's so close to happening. 
you can you imagine it? It's not happening. But it could have happened. It could have happened, but it's not. Yeah. The th the thing the things we miss out on, right? All right. Here we go. Are we your therapists? No, definitely not. You can you have the benefit of choosing whether or not you <laughs> you are going to listen to anything I say. Whereas um a therapist is trapped. Not really, but you get what I'm saying. I'm 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 just rambling. I'm fine. I'm all good. I'm just like this is fairly unimportant stuff. You know? Raven's my therapist? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Um do I have to do this then to to get up there? Maybe I I can't even remember this mission very much, but probably. No, this just gives me my way ahead, right? I can't fucking remember. It's been too long. Think about how long Bruce and Robert season one was. That was like three years ago, wasn't it? Something like that. The passage of time, it stops for no one. I'm telling you. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, we need the chopper, holy shit. How have I never gotten this before? Why- why did I- oh, I guess because we don't have the glass breaker, that's right. Alright, not my fault then. I may be stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Alright, nice. Big 9 out of 10. That's pretty epic. Hey, I, I want that blue. You understand me? Alright. Okay, so pretty smooth sailing from here on out, besides falling to my death. All we need is the final mini kit here and the red brick, which I'm not sure where that is, but I'm sure we'll come across it in no time. Uh, I need the chopper, because I'm a fool. Alright. Good. Get this one here. Wait, there's... Do I actually... I do need to get in here, yes, I think. We need the Rob scuba suit. There we go. Um, am I in the wrong? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, good. More interconnectedness, I'll take it. Don't forget about our gritty appointment later. I would never. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You know that. Update on the kitchen chair situation. Still sitting on a kitchen chair. Because, uh... Listen, we've gone through this. We've gone through this. But listen. Last time I bought a chair, a mid-range chair, I bought it for about $300. It was an office chair. It was meant to be ergonomic, I think. It was shit. It's, it actually gave me sciatica. Really fucking hurt my back, right? Right? Oh my god, don't jump down here. You're, you are such a fool, do you understand that? Anyway. It was a shit chair. So I made a vow to myself. Yes, it was- no, it wasn't from Officeworks. I think it was from Ikea, but listen. Yeah, okay, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Wait, am I doing this wrong? Have I not enabled a, a way over for the both of us? That's not two-seater. Why can't you just stay there? Are you stupid? Or am I stu- oh, oh, I remember, I remember now. God, it's been long since I did this. Right. Okay, anyway, back to my story. So... Are you able to grapple? Right, there we go, there we go. Okay, listen. So, it was a mid-range chair, about $300. It was shit. It ruined my back. I had to go through a process of literally fixing my spine. Because it was so shit. Now I'm sitting on a dinner dinner table chair and it's significantly better. And I I tell you what, this dinner table di dinner table chair is a lot less expensive. So I've made the executive decision that states if I am ever to buy another chair, there's the red brick by the way. The red brick for this mission has now been attained. Um, the dinner table, yeah, exactly. All right, listen. 
So I made the decision if I'm ever gonna buy a chair again, I'm gonna buy a fuck off expensive chair. Like I, an absolutely ridiculously good chair because I am, I'm not making the same mistake again. I'd rather buy one really expensive chair than 17 mid chairs that ruin my spine. So I was like, all right, what's the best, what's the best chair? What's the best office chair? Looks like the general consensus is the Herman Miller Embody. Now, the Herman Miller Embody is about the price of a fucking military warhead. I th actually think you could probably get a military warhead on discount for cheaper than the Herman Miller Embody. So, you know me. I don't really like buying equipment at the best of times, let alone when it's that expensive. So, it's, it's literally like... I think it's like $3,200 Australian or something like that. It's a feral amount of money. It's disgusting. I think I can leave this mission now, right? Um, I can. All right. Well, that's that done. That's that done. That is there she goes again completed. Beautiful. It's silly. It's ridiculous. But apparently it's insane. Apparently it's like the spine caressa. It is the... Um, it's good. I'm yapping about chairs. If you're not enjoying this, what what else can I really tell you except I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so now I'm sitting on a ditch... Uh, a, a ditch. Can I say this word correctly, please? A ditch and chable chair. And uh, it's, you know, it's better than my office chair that's now sitting in the garage, so... I don't know. What can I tell you? But that other one is, is absolutely garbage. It's bad for you. You get sunlight? I get a fair amount of sunlight. I'm, a, I, I'm pretty naturally pale, but I dabble with the sun every now and again. I'm not living in Blight Town, if that's what you mean. Chair stink review? No, the stink wasn't the problem. It just it structurally didn't agree with my spine or was designed specifically to ruin my spine. One of the two, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so that's my story. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, see you later, Alexa. Can someone plebe gift a sub to Boom Wonster? I don't know, that's that's in the hands of uh, powers far greater than mine, Alexa. But thanks for jumping in. Thank you very much. Can't be worse than mine. I use one of those plastic garden chairs that has a crack down it. Jesus. How's your spine? Actually, to be honest, I think that still would be better than the office chair that I had. There was something about the structure of that that was so bad. It was so bad. Spine reveal? Spine's alright. The spine's okay. It's mostly, um... It's mostly the, the... The structure of the spine is fine, but... That other chair, it gave me, like, fucking nerve damage, dude. It's actually really good. My posture is great, weirdly. That's the thing with this... With this uh, ditch and table chair, ditch and table, it's actually straight straightened up my posture. So that's why I haven't been rushing to get another chair. I don't know. It's probably not good for the long term, though. I will say that. Oh, bat boat battle. No. No. Really? I guess we get it out of the way. I, I guess we have to get it out of the way. Yeah, alright. I would skip it, but look, I'm that's not I'm not really that kind of person, hey. Like when there's a problem avoiding it, it's just gonna I don't wanna experience the pain later because then I'm also gonna experience the pain of knowing that that pain is coming later. So I might as well just experience the pain now. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to do it eventually. How the- how did I start the mission with 700k, by the way? What is that about? And what am I doing here? Oh. Oh, we powered on the lighthouse. Oh, th oh this happens in the normal mission as well, I'm pretty sure. Alright. I'm breaded up. I'm breaded up. Go. Go! That's it. That's it, mate. I can't believe I've never gotten that before. That's <laughs> it's fucking insane. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh no, the shame of it all. The shame of it all. That's pretty despicable, I won't lie to you. Alright. That's okay. I'll live with it. 
I'll live with it. What do we got there? Little mini kit moment. Do I need a, a different type of missile, do I? How do I open these things? God, what do I... Do I need, like, Bruce or something for this? Oh, bomb sling? Really? You might be right about that. Oh, you might be right about that. Alright, alright. Hang on. Why is Mad Hatter's vehicle even a thing? Can somebody explain that, please? Why, why is that available for use? This is the bomb I'm slinging, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Because Fundy? No, not Fundy. Not helpful at all. Alright. There we go. Number 4 out of 10. We're doing well. We're doing real good. Don't panic. Remain calm. Alright, here we go. You know what they should have done? They should have made Robert's vehicle like just him in the water, but he's got a, a pair of floaties on and he just paddles through the water. Should have done that. Matches character a little bit more. He, there's no way he knows how to drive a boat. I won't be that easily fooled. Hello, Iman. It is I, the real Simon. Simon, is that actually you? My goodness. Thanks very much for the 100 bits, the Simon. The real Simon. Appreciate it, man. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Provide me with the mini kit immediately, please. Almost missed the stream. You're here now, Lyric. That's all that matters. When am I going to start drawing again? I don't know, man. When... When... I get my shit together at some point in time. Um, where is this... Uh, where's this thing? What's going on here? Did I? There's no way I broke it. There's no way I broke it. There's no way in hell. Shoot at me. Shoot it? What? Dive? At what? Am I meant to... Torpedo? Is it broken or is it not broken? Roberto Torpedo? Had fucking nothing to do with diving. You got, you got no idea what you're talking about. Absolutely no bloody idea, mate. You got absolutely no idea what you're talking about. No clue. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, dive under it, mate. Yeah. Do it. Unbelievable. Give me my mini kit immediately. What is that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mayhaps- Hey, now you can call it gaslighting as much as you want. I- I know- I know what you did. I know who you are. Exposed. Alright. Victor Freeze, that might have been the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. I don't think he has a boost. I don't think it's possible for him. Wait, wait, wait. Are we done here? I think we're done here. That's okay. I don't think it's it's pointing me in any particular direction here. Oh, there we go. Why why didn't it tell me? Oh, okay, I guess I've already gotten that one before. That's fine. A vehicle mission? What I'm saying, lols. It's a terrible, terrible tra tragedy. That we've been caught up in here. Um, I guess we have to sling this one.
All right. Here we go. Okay, I think that we're done in this area. I'm pretty sure. I don't I don't think we missed anything. I'm just going to continue on. We should be all right. Don't panic. Um do I need to submerge over here? I believe no. Did we finish the woman level? We did. We're now in the water. We've, we're going aquatic mode, unfortunately. They should have gave Clayface a boat as well, made of clay. I think that would have been quite creative and funny. They should have done that. Can he figure out this basic puzzle? It remains to be seen. I'm guessing I have something to blow up over here. Does this have anything to do with that? Probably not. Let's see. Alright, i got to blow that up for something at least. Why do I not remember this being so large? Um, okay. I think that's the secondary puzzle in this area. Uh, no trams on this one. What does it want me to do here? Surely I don't just dive under this, right? This doesn't look diveable. It's diveable. Okay. It didn't look diveable to me. I, I guess I gotta just experiment more. I don't know. Didn't look diveable to me. Looked like a big ice wall. Read the sign. I thought it was a, a smiley face or, or, or just a, you know, a plain face. All right. That's okay. We all make mistakes. If you don't criticize me for mine, I won't criticize you for yours. All right. Can I? Never seen this before in my, I've never seen that happen in my life. What, what was that? I thought I broke it again. This game stinks. This game smells. It's unsanitary. Where's the bomb? Give me my bomb. Oh, I already exploded it. Alright. I'm better at this game than I thought I was. Making big moves out here. Alright. Where's Killer Croc? Go for it, mate. Always good to see Killer Croc make an appearance, honestly. Do you think young Sheldon would survive the events of Batman Arkham Asylum? Are you kidding me? What sort of a question is that? Of course he would. He puts the world's greatest detective to shame. His understanding of theoretical physics is far beyond anyone's understanding. Go for it, you scaly bastard. Oh my god. Is that a... That's a Lego Batman 1 Bruce and Robert Season 1 nostalgia moment. Is that the TikTok edit? Oh, I was making TikTok edits way before it was a cool thing to do. Truly a pioneer. Truly a pioneer of the genre. I can't believe how long ago that was. Man, it's time to... It's time to get our shit together. And by our shit, I mean my shit. It, we cannot be four years from this point and still have TGB going. It cannot happen. It literally... I, it cannot happen. Same with Bruce and Robert, honestly. It needs to be... Fi they, they, we need to finish it. Come on. Come on now. Get it moving. You know, at least to chapter six. People always ask me if I'm doing if I'm doing the epilogue. I do plan on doing the epilogue, but at least to chapter six would be nice to get done this year. Like at least the goal would still it'd still be nice to have the whole thing done, but at least to chapter six. Come on, what are we doing here? Bruce and Robert four. Mm, let's focus on Bruce and Robert 3. We'll see what happens. Honestly, Season 3 should only really have two or three more episodes left. 
I think I'm gonna stay the course. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stay the course a little bit. Try and keep things varied a bit. Maybe not start any of these big other ideas that I have. I think those should exist in a, in a post-TGB world. And, um, we'll see what happens. Keep those big ones for, uh, as I said, keep them for later. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything done there, but we can go back anyway. What am I missing here? Uh... I may, I may have, I may have missed, I may have missed things. Oh no, I didn't. There's a bunch of green arrows there. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're fine. Is that how we, no, that's not how we blow that up. We can't go under it. Okay. What's the percent? Uh, I'll have to check after we get out of here. Penguin torpedoes, you say? How does he do that again? Penguin torpedoes. Pingo bomb? How do you do Pingo's bomb? Do I have to sling something? Oh, oh, you, you, they're the ones that follow you around, right? There's a uh, dispenser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes. Okay. I see. I see. Good. All right. Cool. God, I completely forgot that was even a thing, honestly. Alright, there's that one. One more to go and the red brick, and we're home free. Um, I need bomber. I need bomber. I need boom immediately. <laughs> Shit. River K-I-O-I, the man himself. He's an officer of the law. Wait, hang on. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need to, I need to bring this through. Thank you for joining the subscription service. I owe you, uh, my life at this point. Alright. Okay. Tell you what. How about we get this mini kit and we get this red brick and we blow this popsicle stand. Number one in bold? I don't believe you. Show me evidence or it didn't happen. I need I need empirical evidence. It didn't happen. How many people are in here right now? That did not happen. Not even close? Yeah, don't gaslight me. <laughs> Unfortunately, Asmund Fart is still- Asmund Fart, wow. I really- there's some creative people in here for sure. That's wild. That's ma that's actually massive. I'm actually proud of you for that one. That's good. That's real good. Um, Asmund Fart is still streaming and hasn't retired, so number one in bold is a far away- far away goal. Ah, well. What can you do? At least we got a red brick. At least we got the bat boat. Wait, this isn't bat. Yeah, this is at least we got the bat boat battle red brick. That's pretty big. Asman gold. I'm shaking my fist right now. I'm so mad. All right, I think that's everything. We're good. Get out of here. Asthma fart. Asthma fart. What are you talking about, Vitaro? absolute forces of creativity in here. What is with the anime Lego piece there? What is that? What happened there? What? Hold on, go back up. Oh, you're joking. We're not going to be... Did you see that? What was that? What was that about? Missed it. I hope you're watching the screen. Oh, you missed greatness. Ah, that's massive, man. Why is Asmund Gold even in the bold category? How many times do we have to go over this? Unbelievable. It's like me being in the fucking League of Legends category right now. You see me playing League of Legends? He's bald, ding, yeah. ING, you fucking bastard. Slap it on there. Get accurate. Get onto it. 
Am I bald? That's that absolutely besides the point. God damn, I tell you what. It's people like that, man. It's people like that that run this world into the ground. Somebody's driving a motorbike outside my home right now. You'll have to forgive the uh, lack of audio quality for a moment. I'm unfathomably late, I man, my bad. It happens to the best of us, Kilgore. Just don't let it happen again. Asmund, hang on, I need to see how many viewers Asmund Gold has. Let me have a look. I'm very curious. This is very important. I, I know I could just ask you, but I need to see it with my own two eyes. Don't do that line. <laughs> the worst idea of all time. He's not even streaming. Oh, is he on his alt account? Is he... Fucking alt account. Why do streamers do the alt account thing? I guess just to have, like, have less viewers intentionally. Have it be a little less... Um, he's playing Undertale. He's playing Undertale. Let's see his tags. English, OTK, OTK Network, Starforge PCs, WoW, Bald, Gaming, World of Warcraft, and Drops Enabled. Now, you see how everything else there applies besides the magical B word? You see that? I tell you what, man. Vultures. Vultures in the bald category. They shouldn't be there. They really shouldn't be there. That's his main account? Nah, nah, he's not streaming on his main account. You know, I've never watched an Asmongold stream before. Never in my life. I have no idea what he's, like... What he really does. I know he was World of Warcrafting. Or something like that. Um... I think we'll do one more mission here. We'll... we'll I, I reckon we can absolutely blast through this one. Plan to keep it that way for the rest of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a good move. Probably a good move. He, he like... He seemed to have, like, a, a big resurgence again during their Amber Heard trial, right? I remember hearing about that. I think he's always been big, but... He was, um... He streamed, like, that whole thing like it was a reality TV show, right? Absolutely insane. <laughs> Jesus. How long is it before... On Twitch, we've just got people, like... Watching murder trials on stream or something like that. How long? I don't reckon it's long. I don't reckon it's long at all. I reckon give it five years, it'll be the, it'll be the new meta. That probably already happens. Yeah, but I'm talking mainstream appeal type stuff. Hasn't that happened already? I don't know. It could it could have. Maybe I'm a bit naive. Probably has happened already. Um, what do I need here? Do I need this? Why are you making a soda cola video, but not the top 10 bold? It's an unjust system, that's why. What am I what am I meant to do here? Oh, I meant to hit them. Okay. Alright. What is this? Is that it? What do you want from me? Oh my gog. Oh my gog, the red brick straight away. Massive. Massive. Wonder what that one does. You could probably tell me. We didn't actually buy the last one. Pro should probably do that. Bro found guilty poggers? It's gonna happen. There's going to be, like, a the next Ted Bundy or something on trial, and there's going to be streams watching it, for sure. It's going to happen. Imagine doing a prediction on the verdict. Oh, I just got so many channel points. Bed Tundy just got 25 years. Yeah, that would definitely happen. I can't believe that they sentenced him to 25 years. Wow. I just got 100k channel points off 1k bets. This is crazy. Uh, you know, drop five gifted subs if you think Bed Tundy should get away with it. 
I'm running a monetary poll here. <laughs> 50 gifted and I'll give him life in prison. Are we talking like a, the, <laughs> the judge having a Twitch chat? Yeah, um, chat says that I should give you life in prison, mate. I really don't have any other choice, I'm afraid. Oh, no, wait. They're telling me... Oh, no, we've got a death sentence chant in the chat and somebody just dropped a thousand bits. Sorry, mate. I, I, I know, I know there's witnesses that directly say that it might not be you. But, um... Yeah, your fate's sealed. Thinking of any job with a, with a Twitch companion, Twitch chat companion, is actually hilarious. 53% guilty. Yeah, we, we did a Twitch poll, and uh, they're just not liking your vibe at the moment, so... Uh, it's looking like chair slash life in prison. We, we haven't really decided yet. Something like that. Chat, spam one if you think he's guilty. <laughs> just, just fucking juvenile shit like that. Chat, one one if guilty, two if uh, he should see his family again at some point. And uh, let me know, let me know. In the meantime, I've got a couple of YouTube videos lined up for us to watch, because... This is a boring, uh, trial. Um, first we'll be watching satisfying TikToks that will make you say ooh. And, uh, you just hang out in the corner over there, mate, and we'll decide your fate. We've got a five-minute poll. Five-minute poll. Deciding the rest of your life. Has been gold in five years? We'll see, we'll see. The metas, they get crazy here on Twitch. That's one thing you can say about Twitch. The different metas that are found are quite creative. Before I make the verdict, let's take a moment to thank our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Personally, this is the greatest game I've ever played. And uh, there's actually over 15 unlockable heroes. Um, and if you use my code, uh, Judge Izor you can receive a 15% bonus on your next in-game purchase. That's a 15% bonus with code IZOR and a uh, and 1,000 gold coins with your net next purchase. Also, this man's never seeing his family again um, because the results of the poll have just come in and uh, chat thinks you're guilty, so... And he just whacks the, the mallet down. To, to, what do they call that thing again? A, uh... A... What, what's it called? The judge's mallet. The gavel. I'm slamming the gavel down. You're done. It's over. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Because that'll be happening pretty soon, I, I would say. Gavel spam? Yeah, he's just got like a, he's got point redemptions, 10k for gavel spam. Jesus, this, this world's falling apart. Alright, how do I actually get rid of the rest of this water? Losing my mind here. Gotta blow up that door somehow. I, I gotta keep jumping on it, don't I? I'm not thinking. Holy shit, I haven't seen that animation before. That was actually pretty impressive. That was good. Gotta basil it up here, hold on. I hate, I hate that he can't do a delayed double jump. I'm not gonna lie to you, not good. Who needs a jury when you have Twitch? Oh, can you imagine, dude? Wow. That's, like... Do online juries happen? I think this, I think you still have to be in the... I, I feel like that could be a thing in the future. We'll have an online jury system. So, like, people on jury duty just have to log into, like, a Zoom call or something. Oh my god. No. Can you imagine? The, the fucking Zoom call gets hacked and it's just a bunch of <laughs> random people in there. Bunch of, bunch of people on 4chan just... 
already beforehand unanimously deciding they're going to vote guilty despite what the evidence might say. It's going to happen. It's going to fucking happen. Uh, I've reconnected my controller. Thank you. Oh my god. Wow. I didn't think this would become such an inconvenience. Whoever dropped my controller is in serious fucking shit. How many mini kits have I missed? There better be an absolute ridiculous amount coming my way soon. There bet. I guess we're not that far through the mission, technically. Missed one? Nah, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I think you're telling fibs. Alright, hang on. There's a lot of go backs. There's a lot of go backsies. Oh, there is. Oh my god. Why is there so much shit on my screen now? I swear that wasn't there before. It's on the right side, so I'm, I must have missed it. My mic arm is covering it. You know the deal. Alright, that's fine. Alright, maybe believing you sometimes isn't totally a bad idea. Maybe sometimes you guys do have a little bit of knowledge. Alright. I'll take that. That's fine. Alright, that's a little mini kit there. Nothing wrong with that. Um, and there's a, another one somewhere over here, by the looks of things, behind this wall that I don't know how to get to. Is that in the next room, maybe? Little mingle kit? That's in the next, that's in the next. Oh no, I can dive down, you're absolutely right. Your brain is unfathomably large. Actually, wait, maybe not. Yeah, nah, that's next room. Never mind, I take it back. My brain is unfathomably large. What did I tell you? You didn't believe me. It's a bad idea. You know a job that would be hilarious with a Twitch chat? A detective? Oh god. Just wear a, a detective wearing like a GoPro so that the, the chat can see absolutely everything they're doing. And uh... Oh man, yeah, that, that's a recipe for disaster. Oh wait, I'm going the wrong way. That's actually in, in real life detective vision for sure, Hayden. You're right. If you guys can help me find mini kits, you probably solve a couple murders here and there. Like one, if this blood stain looks suspicious to you. I'm having mixed vibes on it. Oh, and then the re- oh my god. And then the real killers in the chat. Sort of like sabotaging him. I'd watch that. I'd definitely watch that. Just gaslighting the detective in his investigation like you guys gaslight me on my investigation for mini kits. It could happen. All right, it's time to go serious gamer mode here because it's taken me a very long time to get through these levels. Let's go over here. We'll suss this out. Where is it? All right, it's right there. I need a boat of some sort. A boat of some description. Those little remote control things probably. Maybe not. Maybe I can just hit it with my body. Either way, we're zooming. Grab this. Yep. Good. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Ethan. Your Honor, I've been a fan of your streams since you did the Night Stalker trial. You make my day and help me sleep at night. Jesus. Thank you. The Night Stalker trial. Oh, God. A judge having a dedicated Twitch fan base. Thanks for the 100, Ethan. That's good. That's good. I would watch the shit out of that. Your Honor, might I say, honestly, here, take a thousand bits, mate. The way that you sentenced that guy to death, never seen anything like it. I slept good that night.
That was a that was a class act, mate. A real class act. All right, 245 million here is pretty nutty, might I say. Um, it'd be sick if I just knew what to do immediately, but I don't. Wait, does... Oh, no, okay. That would be nutty. Um, there's one up there as well. What is going on here? Do I actually go up here? Oh, I do. I can... Basil comes into play once again. Oh, that's huge. Alright, not my proudest moment, I will say. I'm happy to make up for it. Alright. Also not my proudest moment, but we got we got the mini kit. That's okay. He's got a de he's got a delayed jump. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. Get the purple. Yeah, I should probably get the purple. It's gonna haunt my dreams at night if I don't. You're absolutely right. You just saved me from a lot of sleepless nights. All right, there we go. Look, my depth perception it 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 falters sometimes. It has its moments. That's okay. Happens to the best of us, right? Surely she can glide over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Jump on, mate. Wrong fucking button, but alright. It's 1.18am. Should I sleep or continue watching? It's really up to you. It's, re it's really only a choice you can make, but I will say this. We're just about done. So do with do do with that information what you will. You should probably sleep. If the if if you're asking the question, should I sleep? The answer is usually yes. It's good for you. It's good for your bones. All right. It's good for your cartilage. You can sleep when you're dead. Yeah, but do you want to die with good cartilage or not? Do you take arthritis into the afterlife? Can you imagine that? I would have to hope not. That'd be pretty shit. That'd be awful. Imagine Joker streamed the torture. What if Jason Todd? He would definitely do some shit like that. Alright. Get up there, Basil. Oh, we've got a ramp now as well. We're making upgrades. Alright. Isn't that just the Batman... Wait, what? Are you talking about Riddler? Yeah, Riddler was a streamer. There you go. There we go. Now we got a boat. Beautiful. He's quick with it. He's zooming. Is that it? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. I wasn't aware of this. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Shit. Oh, I'm so fast. I'm zooming. Oh, no. No. What are you trying to do to me? You ruined it. You ruined it. I think I gotta wait for it to just go back to the start at this point. Yeah, just just go back to the start. Fucking hell. Jesus. Does this alligator mind trying to knock over my boat? Alright, let's go. This is it. I'm telling you, this is it. I told you and you didn't believe me. And that's your mistake. That's a mistake on your part. That's a 6 out of 10 moment. But, we also have the red brick, so we're closer than, we're closer than I originally thought. 30 year old man struggles with game made for 10 year, 10 year olds. I'm not 30 years of age. What is going on? <laughs> Hold on a second. 
Oh man, you know I'm close though when I start getting worried when somebody says that. 22 is too close to 30 for my liking. Wow. I've never been offended by that before. I And there was definitely, you know what, if I'm being completely honest with myself, there was a, I'm, there was a little bit of... I'm not 30 years old in that. There was, there was a little bit of uh, deflection. Wow. Ah, well, my time's over. Time for the next generation to take hold. Basil, you good? He actually... I'm, I'm, I'm not even touching the controller right now. Alright, good. Thought we might have got him stuck there. Alright. Jump up here. Secure the mini kit. As you do. Can we see Basil throwing it back? There's a time and place for that. This is serious business, though. Isaiah's son will carry on TGB like Harry Osborne becoming Green Goblin. Listen, I would never subject somebody to that. This is my cross to bear. I don't care if I'm 85 years old. Well, actually, I do, because I'd really like if it was done before I'm 85 years old, but you understand what I mean. I love referential humor. Yeah, you get it. You get it. You know, I was having Dark Souls 1 withdrawals last night. My skin, hot to the touch, as a fever began to develop. Bugs under my skin. The sensation that I may need to tear my eyeballs out for no reason at all. Stuff like that. I do get tempted to play it off stream sometimes. It does happen. It's a good game. I knew that I would enjoy it, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it so much, honestly. I thought, like... I thought because... I thought Bloodborne would be the ultimate Souls game for me, but... I think it still is. I think I still like Bloodborne a bit better so far, but... There's also a real... Like, a sneaking part of me that's like, do I like Dark Souls a bit more? I don't know. I think I... I I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, but... Especially... I don't know, man. I guess because I'm experiencing less pain... Because... I have, you know, played a Souls... I've played Bloodborne before, so... A lot of that initial... That first time playing a Souls game altogether... Is just confusion and pain and wondering if you even want to play it anymore and stuff like that. Ah, uh, but now you just said Darkroot Garden. I don't think there's an area in the entirety of Bloodborne that I hate more than Darkroot Garden, to be honest. I don't think there's a single location. But, in all fairness, I was not in the right mood to be playing a, a Dark Souls game when we were at Darkroot Garden. So I may... Maybe I just hated it extra because of that. I don't know. Also, refusing to run past any enemy at all is a... It's just a... As a cardinal sin, right? Oh yeah, Darkroot Garden smells, dude. I won't let you forget it. I won't, I'll sing it from the rooftops. Try playing Darkroot Garden again. I reckon we go okay now. Because I, I sort of get it, but... I was being... I was just bashing my head against it. Originally. Not running past any of those enemies was very silly. Like, but I, to be fair, I thought it was because they were going to become a mainstay. Like, I thought that area was going to be a lot larger. But they were, they were like, you, I don't know if you're ever going to encounter them again. Maybe, but I guess we'll see. They should make Dark Souls, but with Skibbity Toilet. I'm very close to asking you to remove yourself after that one, but we all make mistakes. I do believe in redemption. I do believe that you should be allowed to make a mistake and come back from it. So, um, I think I'll, I think I'm going to let you off with a warning. You know, I feel like you're going to get so sidetracked with Elden Ring. I think I'm going to let myself get sidetracked with Elden Ring though. I think I won't ask if an area is even leading to the main area when I play that game. Because that one very much seems to be 
ultra focused on exploration, right? Man, the, the, sm I have not fucking seen, like, more than five minutes of footage of Elden Ring either. I've seen somebody do, oh no, I have seen somebody do that first horse guy. Um, before the game came out, I was ultra curious, because the idea of open world souls was kind of wild to me. Um, after playing Bloodborne. So I did watch somebody do, uh, the horse guy in the grassy area in the fucking uh sonic sonic frontiers god what's the new sonic game with the grass everywhere is that referential humor do i need to do an update on the referential humor bot hang on yeah sonic frontiers with the yeah 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 all right dude referential humor is my strong suit let's go yeah yeah so i watched somebody do the horse guy um in Sonic Frontiers area, but that's about it. I, I have seen, I have also seen a guy with a big bonk, and I have seen what the samurai class looks like because I saw somebody make the character, but that's about it. Wait, is that, is that an invisible wall? Are you insane? Oh, you're crazy. You're insane. Oh, you're insane. Oh, never mind. Basil is cracked. You're an idiot. You're a fool and an idiot and a fraud. Oh, I need two guys for this. I need two boys for this. See you later, Desi. Thanks for jumping in, dude. Thank you for the support. Uh, What am I doing here? Here we go. He's going to run into Kalid first thing and beat his head against a wall trying to go through the entire thing. I think I'm going to have to be a little less stubborn for Elden Ring, surely, because isn't there going to be areas where it just, like, doesn't make sense for you to be there yet a lot of the time? I'm going to have to, like, not be so crazy. How much of it is tied to, like, I don't know. I won't ask. We're just going to go into that blind. I don't want any pointers. We'll be okay. Got 9 out of 10 now. Watching any shows lately? Um, I'm still in the process of watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, but besides that, am I watching any shows? No, I'm not. My free time at the moment is basically uh, that and Bellatro. If I... I haven't had a whole lot of free time lately, but that's kind of been... I, I discovered Bellatro three or four days ago, and any time I get, like, an hour or so at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's it. Sit down with a cup of Joe and a couple games of Bellatro, and you're good. That, it really is a... It's the greatest drug on Earth, I would say. Rewatching Invincible? I really need to watch Season 2. Really do. Really want to as well. Should watch 11-22-63. Yeah, I, uh, I've wanted to read the book for a while, but I don't know if I will. I don't really like period pieces. I don't really like... Like, I, I'm... Unless I'm really interested in the time period, or the setting, I guess, but... I'm not super interested in... 1960s USA, if that makes sense. I don't know. I, I do hear it's good. I hear it's got really interesting uh, time travel dynamics and stuff like that. I'll probably read it at some point. It connects to It. Pretty much every Stephen King novel connects to It. Or, to be more accurate, pretty much every Stephen King novel connects to The Dark Tower. But we won't go there because we'll be stuck on that line of conversation for a very long time. It will happen. I'm telling you. Oh man, there is such a cool, sm small spoiler, it's not really, but if you're reading The Dark Tower, maybe close your ears for a second. Close your ears for the next 10 seconds, I'm going to make this brief. It's not even really a spoiler, but there is an absolutely wild connection to it in The Dark Tower. That is so insane. But, wait, 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 wait. Oh, we got everything anyway, we're good. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote. 
Um, there is such an insane connection that, uh, wait, did I get the hostage? I think I got the hostage. Um, wild connection, but it's, it's in a way where it's like not completely obvious. You got to do a little brain power mode. It's good stuff. There's actually, there's some connections between his books to like other books that are actually really interesting because just in how subtle they are, um, they don't just outright be like, this is the character from this book, stuff like that. Anyway, that's it. That's done. Uh, okay. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, let me just check if I did get that hostage real quick. Um, oh, yep. I got the little smiley face. That's good. That's real good. Should check out a game on Steam called The Darkest File. I think you'll like it. Detective type game with a cool comic -y art style. Has a free demo. That sounds interesting. Might check that out. Darkest File. Sorry uh, about your ads there, Young. Oh, well, everybody's getting ads right now. That's huge. Uh, oh yeah, we'll buy the extras real quick and then we'll call it. We'll call it. We did, it. We did some good progress today. Can I recommend you a website to read Invincible comics? No, I, uh, I, I'm buying them. I'm buying them. I got the first volume as a gift. I'll buy the second. I really love physical comics. I don't really like reading dot digitals. I'll do it for certain things that I'm not interested in buying, but... Um, I, I like even having physical stuff, so, uh, physical copies of stuff I'm not, like, crazy about. I just like re reading physical books. I'm, I'm not big on the digital. Um... But it is really convenient for some people, and for stuff that you're just kind of not sure if you want to go into buying. I, uh, I'm going to watch Season 2 and then read Volume 2, so... Um, there are some good sites out there that... Well, not they're not good sites, they're bombarded with ads, but if you have an ad blocker, they, they should be fine. Um, Alright, so we got more detonators. Cool. I guess. We got armor plating on the demolition suit. I'm kind of interested in, to see what that is. Does that just mean, like, I'm invincible with that suit on or something? And we got sonic pain. Does that mean we can actually damage people with the sonic suit now? There's some whack upgrades in this. For sure. Now, all the good ones came first. Well, actually, no. No, I'm, ta I'm thinking of the extras. Yeah, these are... A little stinky. Um, alright, well... I would say I just bought armor. Shit, I went against my main rule. Oh no, how could I do this? How could I do this? Oh, he's a fool. He's a fool. I'll, t I'll tell you that much, he's a fool. Um, alright, well, I'm gonna call it there. For today, we're making steady progress. Could probably be a bit quicker if I wasn't rambling the whole time. Uh, but, you know, that's okay. Um... We will go there. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for joining me again today. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you again to uh, Burner for the resub, uh, Is for the resub, and the 100 bits, and the further 100 bits. Uh, thanks for the resub, Artifier. Thanks again, Ethan, for the five gifted. You're huge. You're massive. Thank you very much. Um, Simon, thanks for the 100. Reverk IOI, thanks for the sub, mate. Um, Shepard, thanks for the four bits. And, uh, Ethan, thanks for the hundred. And thanks to everybody who followed as well. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for being here, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. We're continuing the Dark Souls moment. Um, and, uh, I think that's it, eh? I think that's it. I think I covered everything. All right. Hope you enjoyed it, everybody. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>